same here at kindergarten like my brother and my sister did. They went from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. I've been here for three years at St. Mary Cathedral School. I am in the fourth grade. I got here in fourth grade and I'm in fifth grade right now. I didn't really know anyone and I was really the shy, quiet kid who really didn't say anything. When I got here, I was kind of nervous because I didn't know what the school was going to be like. I was coming from a public middle school and it was kind of rough there. The most important thing that I think of St. Mary's Cathedral School is the teachers and staff. They really care about you. They're not just like a principal that just wants the job. It's the principal that really wants to care about the students. Yeah, you can underline it. This is my first year here. I've taught for 34 years in uh, public school. It's not just about teaching in the classroom. It's what happens in life. You got to bring the world in so they can take what you have in the classroom and take it back out. I went to school here from kindergarten through eighth grade. Here, faith was a part of my every day. It was a part of every subject. It was a part of every discussion. And that's how my classroom is. It's not just me teaching something that's some theoretical thing for me. It's really my life, you know, that I share with them. And I think we all strive for that, to be that example to them. I get up and I'm really excited to come to school because there's always something happening. Learning doesn't have to be a boring thing. It can be fun. Here they teach you step by step. You actually want to come and have the teacher teach you something because you like it here. We try to be as nice to each other as possible and pretty much the golden rule sticks here. When we turn to God, it's easier and we have more help. Our parish school is our oldest, biggest, and most important ministry here at the cathedral. I take care of the spiritual needs of the students. We provide the sacraments, we provide the Mass, all their different religious formation and spiritual formation. My favorite thing is Mass. We go to Mass every Wednesday. You can sing to God and pray to God and listen to the Word of the day. It is pretty <laughs> because when you sing or say something, it echoes off the walls and makes it sound beautiful. The religious component no doubt sets the tone of the day. We start off every day in prayer. I think prayer brings on an attitude, a tone of the day. They think of God as the day starts. It's really easy to forget, you know, that you know we're in the presence of God. And I know in the Catholic environment, the children are reminded that it becomes habit to them and it becomes a part of them. It's a part of their life. I mean, the kids themselves, they won't let us leave without prayer. Today we were running a little late and we had packed up and we were trying to get out. And, you know, we were at the door and I hear one of the kids say, we haven't said prayers. Like, we can't leave without that. And that's a cool thing. <laughs> yeah. I started paying attention in church and getting what was happening and like going back to home and my grandpa was a Knights of Columbus. So I would call him and say, oh grandpa, guess what I learned today? I know the whole passion of Christ from kindergarten. And he was just, whoa, what? <laughs> Catholic education, it's a lifestyle. It's an opportunity for the growth of the whole person, not just the mind, not just the heart not just the spirit, but the whole entire person. And not only the child, uh, but the family. The education system in a Catholic school uh, incorporates the whole family. We have family activities like the family picnic at the end of the year. Family is important because I get to do lots of things here together with them and spend more time with them. They have the same teachers for several years. That creates a situation where we understand those kids so much. I know how to help them. I know how to guide them because I know what that individual child needs. The closeness between faculty and parents and students is always there. And I think that comes from the size of the community. But you know, I think it also just comes from this holy ground that we're on. And, so many generations of people walking through this place. I'm very grateful that my parents pay for me to go to this school. 
I plan on being here all the way till I graduate. It's really welcoming. It's like my home away from home here. What drives me is hope. There's hope here. This is a really good school. It's been around for a really long time. It's changed the lives of people and families and generations. I think it's important to continue that legacy. We're one of the oldest schools in the state of Texas. It's very important to see how that faith is linked to our community here. This is our home.